my name is Leanne and I am part of the visitor services team at Eureka. We miss you all so much and can't wait to see you soon but for now make sure you are staying inside. So a lot of people while they've been staying inside have decided to learn a new skill so I thought I would join in and teach you a little bit of sign language. Now the best place to start is actually the alphabet so that's what I'm going to show you today. So to begin with, you need to decide which hand is your pen and which hand is your paper. So I'm right handed, which is this hand here. So my right hand is going to be my pen and it's going to do most of the work while we do the alphabet. And my left hand is my paper. So we'll start with the vowels. Easiest place to start. And the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Did you see any similarities there? So there's five vowels. And we've got five fingers. So all you do is point. A, E, I, O, U. Nice and easy. So we'll do the rest of the letters. So we'll start with A, which is your thumb. A. B. Put your hands together like this. C. So you make a C shape with your pen hand. D. Looks a little bit like this. E. Remember, we're pointing at E. It's our second finger just here. F, take two fingers like this, place one on top of the other. G, H, slide your hands, just like that, H. I, remember, I'm gonna point to the middle finger. I like to remember it, I think it's the tallest one. Eyes are nice and tall. So point to your tallest finger. J, and take it from the top of your finger there and draw a J on your hand. J. K. L. Take one finger and place it on the palm of your hand. And it looks like this. Can you see one finger just there? L. M. You take three fingers and place them there. Can you see that there? And N is two fingers. And place it just like that. And the way I remember those ones is L, if you did it upside down, it's a long L. M, if you did it upside down, if you'd like to draw an M with your fingers. And an N, it's just like that, if you were drawing them on a piece of paper. So N, O, this is fourth finger here. That's called the ring finger. That's how I remember O. And the ring, the dash it. O. P. Just like this. Q looks like that. R, so you take your hook hand, place it on your paper, just like this. R. S, take your two pinky fingers and with the hand that you write with, so like that, and interlock them like that. T, like this, so it looks like that. T. U is our last little pinky finger there, point to that one, our last vowel. V, you're going to make a V shape, look. Place it on the palm of your hand, so you can see it open like that, V. W, take all your fingers and lock them together like this, W. X, make an X shape with your fingers. Y, it's going to look like this. Can you see that there? Y. And Z, last but not least, Z, just like that. If you could draw a Z in the air, it would look like that. Fantastic. So that's everything, all of the letters there. So see if you can go back through the video and practice the rest of them. Now, learning to fingerspell is really useful because it means that you can spell things like your name or where you live. So for example, my name is Leanne. See if you can practice your name. See if you can finger spell that. And other helpful words that I can show you today are things like hello or goodbye, please or thank you, sorry and name comes from your forehead just like that. See if you can tell what I'm saying here. Are you ready? Should I do that one again? Did you get it? See if you can write it in the comments below what you think I said. Right. Well, that's everything.
everything from me today, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember, stay home. Look after yourselves, everyone. Goodbye.